All right, guys. So today we're getting into a new lesson. But like I told you before, is I wasn't going to be in class today. So I've made this video for you to look through before we get into our, the activity for today. So I'll have your instructor play this for you. Um, but since we can't do our Pear Deck like normal, since I'm not there to present it for you, I want you guys just to take out a piece of paper and write down the middle, separate it one and two. And then on that paper, I want you to draw or write two things you've learned in this unit so far. And if the instructor could please pause the video right now, that would be awesome to give them time to do this. All right, now that you guys have done that, let's get into exactly what we're talking about today. And we're going to start with the Boston Tea Party. That's what we're going today. And so what I want you guys to do now is take a guess. When do you think the Boston Tea Party began? Let's make it real short. Write it down right now. Does everyone have it? Yes? Awesome. So just take that guess. Just hold on to that. And we're going to get into what exactly happened. A short overview of this is that a political pro it was a political pro protest that occurred on December 16th. 1773 who got it right yes no maybe okay maybe not so and it took place at griffin's wharf in boston massachusetts uh what happened was the american colonists who were frustrated and angry at britain for imposing taxation without representation without representation they dumped 342 chests of tea imported by the british east indian company into the harbor they got rid of the tea because they were frustrated and this was the first major act of defiance to British rule over the colonists. It showed Great Britain that Americans wouldn't take taxation and tyranny sitting down, and it rallied American patriots across the 13 colonies to fight for independence. That was the start of America. So now that we've gone through that, uh, before we get into our activity, I know this was short, but um, I gave the instructor what is to be done next in the class for our activity. But I want you guys... So first, um, you can either draw heads or just separate it twice, again, on your piece of paper. Um, on the right side, tell me what the colonist's point of view was and explain that. But then also, I want to hear, like, what's your point of view? Do you agree with what they did, or do you think they should just listen to Britain? Um, so with that, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, and so now I would want to turn to the instructor, and they can just take over with the activity we have for today. Um, so I just hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you back tomorrow.